This may not be a perfect representation of how to put on one of these uh, survival suits, but uh, it might be pretty close. Certainly, uh, I would have to uh, re repractice it because I'm out of practice. It's been a year since I put one on. But uh, yeah, I had to actually put one on in a real situation. I was uh, involved in a boat uh, boat that sank partially sank uh, in Bristol Bay a few years ago and uh, <clears throat> fortunately uh, while I was trying to uh, pull this pull the transfer the weight from one from the lee side of the vessel to the other side uh, somebody else uh, remembered to grab the life uh, life jackets the life uh, survival suits uh, and throw them out on deck so we can get in them before we uh, almost capsize. Fortunately, we, we ran when we were when we were taken on water. We were able to make it close enough to shore to where uh, we didn't sink completely. Because uh, but most of the boat did about three quarters of it. On its, we were sitting on the on the uh, the side of the hull of the boat because it was sitting uh, completely sideways and. Uh, <clears throat> So he he had, he had he did send a mayday out to the Coast Guard and to one of his friends that were that was about uh, an hour hour or so away from us. So uh, the Coast Guard uh, was on its one it was on its way, but uh, his friend got his friend got to us first, and he backed up uh, to where to where we were, and we jumped in the back of the boat. Uh, we had our survival gear on. And, and uh, kept us warm also after we jumped on his boat. Then he took us to uh, a, t a tender that was uh, anchored out in, uh, I don't know where it was, I think it was uh, uh, Negush Negush and, uh And then the tender took us back to uh, Dillingham. And uh, <coughs> the uh, seafood broker, the seafood plant that uh, we were selling our fish to, provided us with uh, new boots and new clothes and it was pretty cool how they uh, reached out to us because uh, we were pretty uh, devastated uh, about having our, our trip end, uh, abruptly uh, end so soon. Uh, but we were fortunate to uh, not have drowned or <clears throat> we, were, we were rescued and uh, they, uh, I ended up getting a job. I actually ended up getting a job there at the cannery, but uh, I had to wait like a week. But then we start back up because they were, I guess they were overwhelmed with too much fish that year, so they weren't. Uh, they put kind of a hiring freeze on it for a week. So uh, I ended up uh, going to work for someone else that was uh, in harbor there. I worked with them for about uh, a couple weeks, and I finished up the the season with him and uh, <clears throat> took the boat back. Uh, that was a fun adventure. And uh, took it all the way back to Homer, actually, through uh, Iliama Lake, and uh, where they put us on a on a, on a uh, semi truck trailer and pulled us all the way to uh, Cook Cook Inlet. <clears throat> so that was real fun. But yeah, so I'm trying to put on my survival suit here. <clears throat> but man, I, I remember having difficulty even there. But uh, you usually you just kind of buddy up with somebody and. If you have any difficulties, you help each other out. But uh, I was taught to put only one arm through this first and then pull the hood over and then put the other arm in the other sleeve. But uh, I was even looking at the instructions and that's not how it shows you how to do it. It shows you to go ahead and put it on like a, like a coverall suit and then, and then put the hood on. And it can be done. But, and oh, and typically uh, some people will say wear your go ahead and wear your footwear. Uh, some people will say wear your footwear. I don't see how they can do it. It's kind of hard to get it on. But they also say to wear all your sweatshirts and as many clothes as you possibly can underneath it. That it'll be kind of tight and, and even more difficult to put it on. But they want to narrow it down to like only a, only a couple few minutes to put it on. Because you just never know. Sometimes that's all you have before the boat sinks. Uh, and we, I didn't have to get into a life raft. Uh, but we were, because the other boat came and rescued us. 
So, uh, uh, is, um, uh, anyway, so that's it. Like I said before earlier in this video, this is not the actual uh, footage of what what happened, but uh, I'm kind of doing a reenactment of sorts, and uh, this is kind of like a portrayal of the of a boat that uh, doesn't look like the boat that rescued us, but I just put it in there as a as a, uh, a reenactment, uh, not an exact reenactment, but uh, I use this sail old sailboat. But uh, we jumped, we, it got close enough to us and turned around and backed up and we jumped in the stern, uh, over the stern and on deck, a deck full of fish, full of fish all the way up to the, the, the rail, uh, all the bull to the top of the bulwarks and, uh, and uh, it's hard, even hard to walk through it, there's so much fish. So evidently they were doing real well. It was like the peak, peak season, so. Yeah, we see, that's what we did, we kind of jumped over and rolled over in the back of his boat. Like I said earlier, we didn't have to jump into a raft, uh, but uh, so that was good.